Hello and welcome back to this new video of mine, which in this case is an easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create the perfect, or in my version, perfect fall makeup look. I got my pumpkin spice latte right here in this cute mug. I love it. Morning potion. And my pumpkin spice snacks right there. And there's nothing hindering me from creating the perfect video for you right now. So the objective of today is to make it as simple as possible. And I'm gonna slowly take you step by step through every single step that I do because I think that just makes it easier. I would have wanted that when I was starting out with makeup. And I just want to provide that space for you guys. So if you have any further questions, let me know in the comments down below. For summer, I also did a makeup tutorial that was a few months back. I'm gonna link it somewhere here. This one is gonna be a bit more glam though. I would say, let's get right into it. I already did my skincare, which is really important but I'm gonna zoom you a bit in. My skin is not great right now, but that's okay. But you have to imagine your skin being the foundation and the canvas. So be sure to get your skincare down and know what is good for your skin and what is not. So I'm gonna start with priming my eyeshadow. I'm gonna prime with a concealer. I use the Tarte Shape Tape, it's a small travel size, just because it is a matte concealer and it is very drying and very full coverage. So that is the most important thing in my opinion. Because if you use a glowy concealer, it's not gonna stop your skin from oiling underneath and then your entire eyeshadow is gonna move. And we do not want that. After that set for a minute, you're gonna blend it out. Then you take a fluffy blender brush. Ideally, it should be cleaned. Mine is not, but we're just gonna ignore that. And I'm gonna go into the Milani palette right now because I just got that one. You can use whatever eyeshadow you have at home. It's not important but you go into a light brown, almost warm brown shade. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna first dab a little bit the brush into your skin. You pack the product on first and if you want to blend it you use circular motions and try to blend it out as much as you can. These shadows like this palette that I'm using right now is a bit more difficult to blend and is a little bit patchy. So if you see some patches it also always depends on the eyeshadow palette you you're using some are easier to use some are more difficult to use so just keep that in mind we won't need a lot of brushes today but just think in your kit you might need three or four and then you're good but like we're gonna take a bit more of a dense one also as I said dirty I'm sorry but like that's just what it is right now and then you go into a darker brown shade because we're gonna want to darken this entire eyeshadow look a bit more if you have hooded eyelids you don't want your entire eyelid to be dark if I look like this you can tell that you don't see product over here much and I just want this to be like on the outer corners to give me sort of a cat eye effect. So this is very intimidating right now, not gonna lie, right? But if you want to blend this out more, you go back into it with your first brush that still has a little bit of product on and you just start to fluff it out a little bit. And then you can also bring it a bit more here so that the color is still getting a little bit to the front. You can either make it even more dark or what you can do is you go into a shimmer right away. I feel like I wanna go into the shimmer because that just makes it easier and faster if you ha don't have so much time. I'm gonna go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I don't remember which one this is. It's the Nouveau palette. And I'm going into the color Lily. It's like a duochrome, very, very beautiful. And I'm just gonna take this with my finger. You don't always need a brush for those things, to be honest. It's one of my favorite shades in the palette. It has a gold reflect and it has a warm bronze reflect, but also it's almost a green tint it's really beautiful what I then do is optional you don't have to do that what you could also do is also just go into it with mascara already but what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take my eyeliner and I take a brown eyeliner because I'm very pale and I love brown eyeliners because they don't look so harsh on me so that's my tip but I'm gonna take a brown eyeliner and create a wing what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag a line at the bottom and then you're gonna connect it with the upper line and there you already have your wing. It's very easy, it's very quick if you get used to it. You just have to learn how to do it for your own eye shape. Okay, now that this is done, what you want to do is go in with your mascara. You can also curl your lashes. I'm gonna use fake lashes after that, so it's not really necessary for me to do. And then if you want, you can just keep it like that. I think that's also kind of cute though. You can, as I said, either keep it like that or you're gonna go in with your fake lashes. I'm not gonna show you how to put on fake lashes right now but like if you want I can make a different dedicated video about that. So that is the look with eyelashes and that is the look without fake eyelashes. I prefer the look of lashes because it gives more of a glam and like cat eye effect you know. Very important thing here to note though because I said I started with my skincare it is very important since we're approaching winter now. I know this is hard for you but winter is coming. 
your skin might get more dry you might create more dry patches especially around here or here also around your nose if you get a cold so just be aware that your skin might be changing that you might need to change your skincare routine and that you really hydrate your skin a lot also drink enough of water I know but like it's just important I'm gonna start with a foundation now I never use primer simply because my skin is usually very dry and I use very glowy products a hydrating skincare base is even more important than having a primer but that's as I said personal preference and if you for example have oily skin make sure to use a mattifying primer but like if you have to make your makeup last all day definitely look into a good primer but I think if you're starting out it's not a necessity it just depends how your foundation lasts on your face and on your nose if I'm gonna blend it down my entire neck it's not cute it's gonna get on your clothes and everything yeah you have to blend your foundation I agree with that but like you don't have to overdo it there's another trick that I can show you though is that you lose use a lighter concealer it's one of my favorites if I feel like foundation is too dark I put like a few spots here because that's the part where people really see it you know and that creates you the illusion of having more of a cheekbone like it's gonna create a bronzed effect at the places where you want it and a highlighted one naturally <laughs> Not naturally but like almost naturally where you want the highlights so that makes it easier for you later on to know where to place your bronzer and stuff as well if i blend this out now and blend it a bit down i mean the lighting is really not good right now because i'm in my dorm room <laughs> but maybe you can tell that this is not as harsh anymore and it created a shadow here without even doing too much if you cannot afford a foundation right now or you don't know how to shade match and you just have a concealer at home use your concealer as your foundation just spot conceal where you need it where you feel like you need it usually if you have a good concealer it should cover up enough blemishes or things that you don't want and leaves you with a very natural looking skin i think i talked about that in my summer makeup routine as well so what i'm doing right now is i'm cleaning up underneath the eyeshadow as well in case there was any product underneath the eyeliner so this also emphasizes the cat eye that we are creating now that you have this done we're gonna go back into cream products winter might be coming up but that doesn't mean that cream products are out of the trend now you know so cream products are just there to like give you more of a natural look using the fenty beauty stick to contour as you can see here is my natural shadow and i put it a bit higher up it's gonna make my cheeks look thinner than they actually are because i'm putting it higher up. next i'm gonna go in with the melt golden hour blush it looks like this it's a bit more of a warm tone but it matches the eyeshadow i'm having on right now very well in my opinion so i'm just gonna go in with a beauty blender and just blend it out this product is really beautiful because it gives a gorgeous gorgeous glow while looking very very natural and it's very easy to use like these things they're so easy to use if you're a beginner this definitely would work for you i'm pretty sure you can tell i'm just patting it on and it's already blended out it's perfect and now you can see we look very oily right now i mean it is not oil it's just a healthy glow but i noticed that it's a bit too much for my liking i love the look of a nice and healthy glow but i'm gonna go into some powder not too much though because as i said i have dry skin but i'm gonna use the maybelline fit me powder now the oils might come through over the course of the day i don't personally mind it but if you do make sure that you have blotting powder or something with you if it's too matte I don't think it looks natural anymore it doesn't look too plastered on the face like you can of course see the skin texture being emphasized but that's normal because we're having product on our face i don't use highlighter anymore because i think that's just already enough of a glow right now due to technical difficulties i just had to stop recording here we go again though and i still have my coffee so we're still going strong what we have on our faces right now if you did everything i did just now is powder foundation concealer and cream products but we're also gonna go in with powders now more powder yeah we're gonna get your favorite bronzer because we just did cream contour but we also want to give it a bit of a like a warm glow if you will we want to keep the summer energy going right also this connects the eyeshadow a bit with the rest of the face if everything looks warmer it just it just gives a nice cute look my hair is such a mess today i don't even know what that hairline even is at this point but what i also like doing is just adding a little bit of bronzer down here to create a shadow but then you have to be very careful that it doesn't give you a line here because that sometimes happens with me because now you can tell like my neck is a bit lighter 
than the rest of my face. Now the best part, or the most complicated, whatever you want to call it, nose contour. I think that makes a very big difference just in the way your face looks put together, because if your nose is white and the rest of your face has like darker and lighter shades, it's just confusing. I'm not saying I'm great at nose contouring. I, I actually don't know what I'm doing. I wish I would, but like I don't understand the shape of my nose. I've never seen someone online having a similar nose shape, so I'm just a bit confused on like how to do it myself. So I'm just putting two lines down here, making it a bit more bronzy, focusing on here and on here, and then maybe if I want I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlight. What I also notice is that the sun is really not helping right now, like the lighting is getting worse and worse. This is a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a bit better. I'm stretching a bit right now to get there, but it's okay. Next up, blush again. By the way, I'm using like this Benefit palette. It's quite an old one, but it's just practical because it has everything you need in there. I don't know why, but recently I really started loving blush. I was never a huge blush person. I was always afraid to look too red or something, especially in high school and like middle school. Every time I would do sports <laughs> and like we had gym class, I was always a tomato. And it was such a huge trauma for me because that's the reason why I wanted to wear foundation to cover up my redness, you know? So I was very hesitant of using blush. But now I start to love it because it just gives the life back to your face. I'm gonna go in with the eyebrows. This is the Maybelline pen. I really like that one. I always use two. I'm a bit extra with my eyebrows, but I use the Huda Beauty for the front of my eyebrows. There are not a lot of hairs, so I'm always drawing on hairs with this one. I love that technique. Always works for me. And then I use the Maybelline one to fill out the rest. Don't try to paint it on too much. Just follow your natural eyebrow shape. It's also the quicker and easier way. And to set it all in place, of course, we need a brow gel. Everyone's brow hair is different. Just like our normal hair is different, our brow hair is different too. So it might be that you have very thin hair, not very sticky brow gel might hold your brows in place already. If you don't even have a lot of brow hair, you might not even need a gel. I do need a gel because they start going like everywhere, but they are also quite stubborn. But I know that they are thicker and more stubborn brow hair out there. I'm using the NYX brow glue. I'm I'm not gonna say that this is gonna work for everyone. If you have brows that simply do not want to stay in place, it can be very difficult. I know that Benefit has a good brow gel, but like not the colored one, but the clear one. Or Anastasia Beverly Hills, the clear brow gel also really, really worked for me. This one works too, but I think it's not the strongest brow gel I ever used. You're like, is that it? No, it's not. <laughs> It's not it yet, but this look can take you from 30 to 45 minutes if you know what you're doing. Right now, if you're doing it for the first time, it might take you a bit longer, but we're going back into our eyeshadow palette. You're going back into your brown shade, ideally the dark one. If you don't want it to be this intense, then don't, but I like it to be a bit more dark. It's like a small blending brush that I have here. I'm gonna press it at my lower lash line. So very close, I don't want to drag it down all the way to here because it's gonna look like someone punched me in the eye. Just like this and I'm gonna focus it out here. So here is the darkest part and then I'm just blending it forward a little bit. I'll do the same on the other side. Always start on the outer corner of your eye. That's just simply because we dragged everything out till here and you go into your lighter blending shade that you used in the beginning to blend all of this out and a bit more together. If you feel like this is not connecting very well, just blend a bit of the lighter brown shade up. What you can do is use an eye pencil. This was just a light one so that it opens up the eye a bit more. I don't think it does too much. I love using a brown one. Also sometimes if they have a bit of shimmer, they also look very good with this eyeshadow look. But what I personally believe is that mascara on the lower lash line is the most important part for this eye makeup look. This is gonna cover up any patchy lower eyeshadow you might have and it's gonna make it look even more dark. So I'm gonna show you now what I mean with this. So I personally think that this one looks way more put together than this eye and it makes your eyes pop more. Mascara is just the most important thing or lashes because they can cover up a lot of things. If you mess up your eyeshadow, just use some lashes or some mascara and you're gonna be fine. Like not always, but most of the time. This is an optional step that I'm gonna do now, but I'm gonna highlight the inner corners of my eye to open them up a bit more. I'm gonna use this shade right here at the bottom. It's called Enjoy the View. To finish this look up, we need a lipstick. This is my new favorite thing. I found the ColourPop lip pen and it reminds me color-wise from the old Kylie Jenner formula of the Kylie lip pen and that was my favorite color out there because it's brown but also a bit of rosé and it's the perfect mix and it gives your lips just the perfect just the perfect contouring i found this and that's almost the perfect shade match to what i love and it's bff2 and you're gonna slightly overline your lips not too much we don't want to go crazy here just a little bit 
and now you look crazy and that's what we love now you're gonna then go in with a lipstick of your choice you can go darker i just have this one here right now it's from anastasia it's the color dusty rose it's one of my favorites i just think this looks so good together and there you have it the perfect easy fall makeup you have some eyeshadow you have a glowy base but it's still matte at the right places and you have a beautiful lipstick shade everything is bronzy everything is glowy but still it's kind of giving fall and it's giving the moment i don't know what the fuck she's saying but girl i am living let me know in the comments down below what you think of this makeup look if you have any suggestions any questions and if you have more further questions i can also make a video about it if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a thumbs up so that i know you like this video have a beautiful and blissful day and i'm gonna see you next week bye